walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms. before you with thanksgiving lord we thank you for giving us your son jesus christ who died on the cross for our sins and rose again and became the savior of the world father we pray that you would uh, exalt yourself and lord that you might save souls and draw people to yourself that people might come to know you because you're not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance in jesus name amen I want to talk about sacrifice today. Bible has a lot to say about the sacrifice. Moses was the one who was in Egypt and he had all the pleasures and money and whatever he needed in Pharaoh's castle. He lived there the second in the command, but he left the pleasures of sin for a season and he joined to his people Israel. He wanted to join the people of God. He loved the Lord. He sacrificed his time and his uh, money and his pleasures of sin to live for God. And that David and others, we have so many examples in the Bible that they sacrifice their lives so people have something to, to live for years. But the greater sacrifice is the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Bible talks about Jesus Christ, even before he was born, Isaiah prophesied about the sacrifice of Jesus Christ in 720 BC. 720 years before Jesus was crucified, Isaiah foretold about the Messiah who had to be crucified and sacrificed for our sins. In Isaiah 53, verse 3, he is despised and rejected of man. Jesus was despised and Rejected of man. People rejected Jesus Christ. A man of sorrows. Jesus was the man of sorrows. He knows what our sorrows are. He understands our sorrows, our, our sufferings. He is the only one. Nobody can understand your sorrows and troubles of life and the problems that you're going through except Jesus Christ. He was the man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we hid as it were our faces from him he was despised and we esteemed him not. Isaiah said, we didn't esteem Jesus Christ. He came, he loved us, he came to his own, but his own received him not. They esteemed, they didn't esteem Jesus Christ. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Jesus was stricken and he was smitten of God and afflicted, but he was wounded for our transgressions, 
That's our sins. He was wounded. Jesus was wounded on the cross. Why? Bible tells us for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we were healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord hath laid on him, on Jesus Christ, the iniquity of us all. God loves you so much that he laid your sins and my sins on him on Jesus Christ and he died on the cross he was crucified he sacrificed his life and so we can live his sacrifice was the greatest sacrifice in the history he died so we can live forever it wasn't just for this life but the life after so we can live forever and verse 7 he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Jesus was so humble. He didn't defend of his, uh, his uh, case, that he didn't defend of himself to be saved, but he came to save us. He came to die. And he was taken from prison, from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? Nobody can declare his generation. His generation was so wicked that they crucified Jesus Christ. For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth he was the only sinless savior he had no sin yet he became sin for us that we might be righteousness of god in him in jesus christ we become righteous because he was the righteous. We have no righteousness in our lives, in our body. All we have is sin. Sin separates us from God. But God's righteousness is in Jesus Christ. When we trust Jesus Christ as our Savior, then his righteousness come upon us and we become righteous and justified and washed in the blood. We can stand holy before the Lord God Almighty. And verse 10, it talks about that yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. God the Father was well pleased when Jesus sacrificed his life. He has put him to grieve. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for, this, for sin, he offered himself for sin. He shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his land, in his hand. He shall see of the travail travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many that's me and that's uh, those who trust jesus christ if you trust jesus christ as your savior jesus will make you to be justified before the lord so jesus sacrificed his life on the cross not that we can uh, uh, die like jesus christ but he died so we can live so we can trust in jesus christ and we can live forever. My friends, sin will separate you from God forever. And the price of sin is so great. That's eternal hell. Hell is a price of sin. So God loves you. He doesn't want you to go to hell. That's why he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be crucified, to pay the penalty for your sins and my sins. And my friend, when you come uh, before Jesus Christ and repent of your sins and put your faith and trust in Jesus alone not your righteousness or good works or religion but when you put your trust in Jesus Christ and when he did on the cross he will save you Bible tells us that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved this is a guarantee and God is God of truth he doesn't tell lie if you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ he will save you from hell and you're gonna be a child of God and you're going to have a home in heaven and eternal life. You can love the Lord with all your heart and soul and might. And after death, you'll be in heaven because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. May God bless you.